Thurman with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We do have a little bit of light to moderate snow falling over Donovan, Brown County, Northern Jackson, across Nemaha and Marshall counties, and then through Washington, Northern Clay now, down into Concordia, as uh, most of Cloud County, all the way down through Delphus, and then eventually it kind of extends southwestward toward Lincoln. This will continue to move to the east on this western fringe, and that'll move into areas that have seen some light snow earlier today, uh, but again, not anywhere close to the amount of snow that we anticipate where Sunday's system enhanced right before it came our way and we got more than expected. This one did the exact opposite. Really moisture starved system and the northern fringe of it's holding together. Even the southern, way southern portion of the storm is looking uh, rather meager down to the south, but we are looking at uh, just a, a real struggle to get that precipitation fully developed. We do have a lot of cloud cover hanging around and we've had some light snow showers around midday that moved through a large part of the area. Area. But as of right now, 18 degrees, wind chill of five. Part of the reason are these single digit dew points. That's how much moisture is in the air. We've had some pretty dry air to contend with. And as that, the snow has been falling into that dry air, a lot of it is also getting eaten up, even what is developed out of the clouds. And then just the whole system itself hasn't produced as much snow. Ten, teens all day, 11 in the morning, 19 for the high. We got 12 right now at Hiawatha, Marysville, and Concordia, where there are areas of light snow. Farther to the south, we've got lower 20s. The breezes are coming in out of the north and northeast, anywhere from 7 to as high as 13 miles per hour at Topeka and at Manhattan. So it's cold out there, single digit wind chills. Uh, the only real missing ingredient on what we are anticipating today has been that more widespread snow. Again, the system itself has kind of uh, developed and moved in almost as anticipated and the cold air has come in with it. Now we're looking at a rebound. Tomorrow we clear out and look at these temperatures climbing back in the 20s and low 30s tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night into Thursday morning we cool back into the low 20s, maybe some upper teens if the winds stay light enough before we get a returning southwest wind. Models really struggle on how quickly we can get rid of the snow and how much we warm up, but 40s to around 50 a possibility for parts of the area by Thursday afternoon. Again, this system still has to move on out before all that will happen. I mentioned the southern end of it. You can see just a kind of a meager amount of precipitation even on the warmer portion of the storm down to the south. So this system is just not fully getting together, but we're not done just entirely yet as that area of light snow moves across the northern counties right along and north of I-70 this evening, and then we clear out for the remainder of tonight and tomorrow as well. Eventually, we become partly cloudy tonight as we drop down to a low of 7 and a high tomorrow, 31. 40s to around 50 for Thursday. So it's brief, but a pretty substantial warm up before we drop back to 30 on Friday. Now, our next system then comes in as we head into the weekend. That one is still looking like areas of light precipitation would be in the form of snow or a snow sleep mixture at times on Saturday into early Sunday. It would be a better chance that it would end as some light snow. At this point, that system is looking uh, larger in size and maybe not any better organized than any of these systems have been. We've really been struggling to get uh, your typical winter storm that's just well formed and, and tightly wound up. They've been all loosely formed, and that's that makes it really difficult to pin down exactly mm -hmm. how they're going to cross the area. I'll tell you one thing, though. My family back home in Goodland, boy, they can about always bank on it. My yeah, mom they, they <laughs> calls do, me today yeah. and says, We're getting about six inches right now. I'm like, Oh my goodness. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it moved that through that part of the state and then just kind of fell apart as it crossed Kansas. Yeah, well, at least we didn't get nearly as bad as Yeah, I mean, the good news is travel's a lot easier for everyone this evening. Right. That's, That's good right. news. Yeah.